Dear students, now we are going to discuss RC series circuit in detail. It is an electric circuit which contains the resistor in series with the capacitor connected across the AC power supply. So simply we can say resistor and capacitor both are connected in series. Okay, so here R represents the resistance, its unit is ohm. C represents the capacitance, its unit is farad. Since these two elements are connected in series, here the current is same, voltage is divided across the elements. So here the voltage drop across the resistance is Vr, the voltage drop across the capacitance is Vc. So here the resistor is mainly used to oppose the flow of current through it. Here the capacitor is mainly used to store the electric energy in the form of charge. So simply charging and discharging is the characteristics of this capacitor. Okay. So here I represents the current flowing through the RC circuit. V is the total input voltage to the circuit. Since the voltage is divided, we can have the voltage drop across the resistance that is Vr is equal to I into R. Here the voltage drop across the capacitance that is Vc is equal to I into Xc. So here Xc is nothing but the capacitive reactance. So that value is equal to 1 by 2 pi Fc. So here the capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to the frequency of the circuit. So here 2 pi F can be written as the angular frequency omega. Do you all understand this one? Here the capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to the frequency. So this concept is used in the field of filtering. So it is widely used in low pass filter and band pass filter. Okay. So next impedance that is Z. It is equal to R minus Jxc. So here the capacitor has the negative reactance for the current flowing through it. So here we can say R minus Jxc. Okay, so next applications of RC circuits. This RC circuit is widely used in low pass filter and band pass filter due to the characteristics of the capacitance which is inversely proportional to the frequency. So next, it can be used as a frequency selector. In real time applications, we can use this RC circuit to control the speed of windshield wipers in a car and hard pacemakers, audio applications, traffic light system, etc. So wherever the frequency filtering is needed, there we can use this RC circuits. Do you all understand this concept? Next, we are going to discuss the phasor diagram of RC series circuit. So phasor diagram is very important concept in electric circuits because it is a convenient way to represent vector quantity in electric circuits. So here any vector quantity can be described using phasor diagram. Here we can consider the resistor only phasor diagram and capacitor only phasor diagram. Finally we can combine these two phasor diagrams to get the RC series circuit. So first the circuit which consists of the resistor alone. So in this one the current is flowing through the resistor then there is a voltage drop that is denoted as Vr. Okay, so here V is directly proportional to current. So here in this phasor diagram, the current as well as the voltage drop across the resistor both are in in phase. That means, so here we can consider the signal diagram with respect to omega t. So when the voltage starts at the point 0, the current is also getting started from the same point. There is no phase difference. Okay. So next capacitor only circuit. So in this one whenever the current is flowing through the capacitor the charging and discharging occurs. Okay. So here we can have this diagram. So in this whenever the voltage is zero it starts giving that voltage initially immediately the capacitor starts charging to its maximum. Okay. So here whenever the voltage is zero, the current is maximum due to 
the charging capacity of the capacitor. So here we can have the maximum current at this minimum voltage. So here we can say this behavior as the current leads the voltage by 90 degree because it starts at this point minus 90 degree then only it can reach over here. We can say like that. So here the phase is leading one. Do you all understand this concept? So whenever the voltage is zero or it starts at zero, the current value is maximum. That means the current starts at this minus 90 degree. Okay, so this term can be denoted like this. Current I leads the voltage by 90 degree. So this is the phasor diagram of this capacitor only circuit. Do you all understand this one? So next, we can combine these two phasor diagrams to get the phasor diagram of RC series circuit. So here we can connect the resistor in series with the capacitor. Then we can get the phasor value for this voltage like this. Here, voltage across the resistor. Here the current I is in phase with the voltage. But in case of capacitor, the current leads the capacitor by 90 degree. Then we can get the resultant RC circuit phasor diagram like this. Okay. So with the magnitude V is equal to square root of Vr squared plus Vc squared. Okay. So consider this value as length of the phasor for this RC circuit. Okay. Then the phase angle. So this is the actual phase angle for this RC circuit that can be obtained by using the formula tan inverse of imaginary value of impedance to the real value of the impedance xc by r. Do you all understand this one? Okay. Next we are going to discuss the characteristics of RC series circuit. The first one is impedance z is equal to r minus jxc. As we know that the capacitor has the negative reactance. So here we can use minus jxc. Okay. So this impedance can also be represented in polar term that is magnitude along with the phase. So here we can have the negative reactance then the phase angle is leading one that is minus 5. The magnitude can be represented as square root of r square plus xc square. Okay. This phase angle is equal to turn inverse of the imaginary part to the real part. So here turn inverse of xc by r. Okay, so here the current leads the voltage by the phase angle phi. We can say the phase angle is leading one. So next apparent power that is the general power S is equal to V into I. That can also be represented as V squared by Z or I squared into Z. So next real power. Real power is the power dissipated due to the resistive element. So here we can use only the resistor. So the real power is equal to V into I cos phi. The reactive power that is the power due to the reactive element Xc. So here we can write this as Q is equal to V into I sin phi. So this real power can also be represented as Vr into I. Okay, so here Vr means the voltage drop across the resistor. Okay, real power is due to the resistive element. Okay, so next power factor that is cos phi is equal to R by Z. That is the resistance to the impedance value. So this is also the leading phase angle. So and finally we can say the current always leads the voltage by the phase angle phi. Okay.